Hi, this is Steve Dawson, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how, in most cases, you can solve the file too long gotcha when you're trying to unzip a compressed file, such as a zip or a RAR or a TAR or any compressed zip file for that matter, on a Windows PC. Now, in my case, I'm running Windows 8, but it really doesn't make any difference. So, let me first try and explain to you what file too long is and what that error message is because it's rather misleading. We think or tend to think that it is to do with the zip file itself and it's actually not that. It's to do with, in most cases, where you're actually saving the zip file. So as you can see here, I'm in the documents folder of my computer here and just sitting in the documents folder at the moment. So what I've done is I've created some subfolders. Let me just navigate through here just to actually show you. Now often we'll be working on our computers and we'll create subfolders where we will save items that we want to work on. It's the way that we make our working life a lot easier. So let me just right click and copy that path and what I'll do is post it into a Word document here. That's going to allow me to click here on the review to see that the number of characters in that path is 128 and that is the core of the problem. So let me show you that in action. Here I've got a compressed file that is saved in that document root and when I try and unzip it you'll see exactly what happens. It'll only take a few moments for us to get a file too long, path too long error and that's to do with the actual 128 characters that are in that path. So let me just close that for a moment. Now, the solution, or this problem actually occurs often when we download from the internet, we literally just save into a convenient file for ourselves, so we never give it a real thought. Uh, we, we're used to working in this manner, saving into folders that mean something to us. So let me just take that uh, zip file for a moment and just close down this window and drop it here onto my desktop. So there it is. Now what we're going to do is just unzip it from the desktop and see if we have the same problem. From the desktop to the desktop. So as you can see it now decompresses without a problem and don't forget this works for zip and RAR and TAR files as well. So please leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more tips like this. Hopefully you found this useful and thanks very much for watching.